welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna apply a tape at the outer corners of my eyes just to make sure I have a sharp edge then as usual you always want to start off by priming your eyes and this is going to ensure that your eyeshadow lasts all throughout the day and I'm just using the MAC Pentelli Pen Pot which is one of my favorites so the next thing I always do is use a transitional shade and the shadow I'm using today is caramel from the Amrizi palette and this is the perfect transitional shade transitional shades is a must for me because I feel like they help all the other shadows blend better and I'm using the Zoeva 221 Lux soft crease brush so I'm just taking this reddish brown shade out of the same palette and I'm applying it on my crease and for this I'm using the Zoeva 227 Lux soft definer brush which is perfect to get right into the crease the next thing I'm going to do is take this shimmer pink eyeshadow and apply it all over my lid making sure I pack it on the marble lid area and I'm using Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Shadow Brush to do this and guys I was bleaching my wig and got the bleach on my nails so like it, it bleached my nail polish next I'll apply this dark burgundy shade on my outer V just to give the look a light smoky effect and I'm basically slowly applying the shadow and blending it out and here I'm using Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Crease Brush I will line my waterline using e.l.f. brightening pencil and then use Inglot 77 eyeliner gel to line my lash line and I'm just going for a little wing liner. I'm using the Too Faced Lash Gazing Mascara and this is like my most favorite and you guys must have noticed I use it a lot because I just love how it makes my lashes look. To finish up the eyes, I will apply some false lashes and of course I'm using my current favorite which is the Icon Lashes in Drunken Love. So here I'll prep and get my face ready for foundation and I'm using Becca primer and it keeps the face really really matte and I decided to use this primer today because I'll be using my old body which is the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation and I used to love this foundation but I'm not sure of it any longer. It's way too oily and makes my skin imperfection so so obvious. Probably I might just return it or give it out. I feel so sad because this used to be my all time favorite foundation like I really do used to love this foundation. I will contour my face just to chisel it out and I'm using black opal stick foundation in suede mocha and when you're going for a contour shade you need a color that is two to three shades darker than your skin tone so it can help create a nice shadow and I'm basically applying and blending it out on my hairline hollows of my cheeks nose and jawline So now I'm going in with my concealer from NARS and I'm just going to highlight my face a little bit. This has been my go-to concealer here recently and I use the shade Medium Dark Biscuit and I will use my Beauty Blender to blend out everything. Spent my nights 
So once I'm done with blending the concealer, I'll go in with a setting powder and this will ensure the concealer doesn't crease. And the hype about this Laura Mercier loose setting powder is real guys. I just recently purchased it and it's simply amazing. It sets the under eyes so well without creasing or leaving that harsh white cast. It's just the perfect highlight setting powder and I can't wait to use it more and share with you guys what I think. Next is to set the rest of my face and I'm using MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45 and this is just a full coverage powder and I will basically use it to make sure I blend the highlight and contoured areas together. Now going back to the eyes, I will apply the dark burgundy shadow we used earlier on my under lash line and then pick up this shade from the Sephora and Pantone palette and use it to highlight my inner tear duct and then I'll apply some mascara on my lower lash line. So here I'm going in with my terracotta bronzer in 07 and I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit just so I add back color because sometimes when you apply all these products you lose your original color. For my blush, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Breezy Blush. I love the pinky mauve shade and I think it's perfect for this look. And my current favorite obsession is the limited edition O Darling Highlight. And guys, if you haven't grabbed this product yet and you love highlights, you are definitely missing out. Whisper of Guilt has nothing on this highlight. It's the best highlight I've ever used ever since I started wearing makeup, like hands down. And now finally it's time for my lips and here I'm using MAC Magenta Lip Liner to line my lips and then first going with LA Girls Toner Liquid Lipstick and this is a nice dark purple color but because I want kind of a pink purple lip I will go in and top it off with Colourpop Driving Liquid Lipstick and this is exactly the lip color I want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will sure see you all in my next video. Bye!